We're going to take a quick look at using uh, the jar signer and jar command line tools in key tool. And these are all included with the JDK when you download and install it and you can access or run these from the command prompt. Now remember whenever you build, uh, clean and build a project in NetBeans, it automatically compresses everything into a nice jar archive. Uh, so for example, I'll go over here in this project folder. This jar archive NetBeans created it automatically. And what it is is all of the classes, whatever is in here, have been compressed into this one, you know, nice small archive. So it does that every time you, you build the project. Um, but sometimes if you're compiling from the command prompt, then you have to use the command line version, the jar tool. You could do the same thing, and it also gives you more options because you can pass in different parameters and switches and things to do different things when you build your archive. So it's kind of a neat tool um, with a lot of options that you know come in useful sometimes. Um, now you, you might be saying, well, what, what about key tool? What about jar signer? Well, by default, whenever you create a project that allows file access, in other words, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let me launch the splash page here. And then that's a J applet, and the J applet launches a J frame. Look, things like load and save, where I'm using this J file chooser here. Um, if I allow the player to save files on their local system, I have to get permission. And the only way for me to do that with an applet or a J applet, which I can embed, you know, I can embed into a web page, is that I have to sign it with a certificate using the jar signer tool, and then they have to confirm by clicking on OK to run the program. And that's just a safety precaution for them because they get a chance to opt out if I were a malicious code writer or I were creating malicious code. That way it doesn't just run on their, you know, in their web browser and infect their system. Because, you know, local file access can be a potentially volatile or, or, or dangerous permission, you know, for, for a user who's surfing the web to give a website or a web page. So that's by design. That's built to Java as a security precaution by design. But the, here's the thing. If, if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to do this. It would actually generate a runtime error if I didn't sign this with the jar signer tool. Now, if I'm running this locally on the system, I won't have any problems. If I'm using all J frames, I won't have any problems. But if I have an applet or a J applet and I embed it in a web page, um, you know, as in these examples here, then when I run it from that web page across the internet, across the network, then I will have runtime security problems. It won't work unless I sign it with the jar signer tool. All right, so just trying to make a case for that, I guess, or you know, why you might need it, or what good is it, or what is it for. Um, I'm going to open a command prompt. Let's type in CMD. And let me shrink this down a little bit. OK. And what I want to do is I need to navigate to my project folder. And I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to go Pirate Arena. I'm going to find where that project folder is. So notice here's my project folder. And the easiest way for me to get there, I'm just going to highlight all that. And Control-C, copy it to the clipboard, and click Cancel. I'm going to come over here to the command prompt. I'm going to use the command CD space to change directory. And then after that, I'm going to right-click and paste all that text there and hit Enter. Okay, now this is on my D partition. I'm still on C, but watch. If I just hit D colon, it will take me to the D partition. Okay, so if you're... If you're not familiar navigating the command prompt, you'll get used to it. It's not a big deal. Once you type a few commands, um, you know, don't don't worry about it if it looks weird to you. On the other hand, if you are familiar with the command prompt, this is nothing new to you. Either way, it, you know, wouldn't be a, a large learning curve for you. But I have to get myself, I have to navigate myself into the project directory so that when I type the commands, um, you know, the the syntax will be a lot easier. Um, I mean, actually, I don't have to do this from within the project folder. If I typed out the absolute path, I could do it from anywhere, but it would probably end up being a lot more typing, and the chance that I would make a mistake would, you know, could be a lot greater. All right, so I'm going to go into the build folder. Actually, before I, well, yeah, all right, I'll just do that first, just to show you. All right, so in build, uh, I'm going to clear the screen, list the directory. And notice what I have here. I'm going to go into classes. These are all the classes in my project. And if I list the directory contents, let me clear the screen here. List the directory contents, these are all the packages. The classes are inside them. 
Like if I were to go into characters, just use a wild card there to go into characters. Okay, clear the screen and I'll list. There's all my classes. Okay, so I have all these different packages, which are like subdirectories, and all these different classes. And let me clear the screen here. And what I want to do is, I'll, you know, instead of having that, it, I want to make it portable, and I want to decrease the file size, and you know decrease the amount of time it takes to copy things across the network. So to do that, um, I want to compress everything into an archive. And that's what the jar tools for. And you know, whenever I go here, again, that means it automatically creates that jar archive. In other words, if I were to go here, we'll go right to this project folder. Right? Here you can see there's my sound files. And there's my classes for poly battlefield. There's my character classes my game functions classes, images, there's my interface classes, level classes, and so forth, even an HTML web page. All of that, I'm backing up now, is compressed here into this jar archive in the distribution folder. So NetBeans does all that for me, but if you know I need to sign it with a certificate, if it's a project that needs to you know acquire file access, then I still have to use the command prompt. And that's all I've done. So again, I, I copied and pasted. I've gone to that directory. And now I'm going to go into the distribution folder, clear everything, and list the contents. And you can see I'll move the mouse. Here's my compressed jar archive. There's my jar file right there. Okay. And if you haven't done it, um, you only have to do this once. But if you haven't done it, I, I erased mine so I, I can show you what it's like for me to do it. You want to use the key tool. Key gen, you want to generate a key, and then you know in this case we're you know using a default RSA encryption. And I'm gonna the alias, what I'm gonna call it is just Germany key. How original, right? Well, you know, call it something more difficult to guess, I guess, if you're worried about security, but it's just a very simple game and I don't really care. But again, here's the command, and I can't get it all it, it kind of overflows here. I'm I'm afraid that would be may look confusing. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to let me put this up here, and that way you can see the command the way that it should look in HTML. But if you're, you know, if you type it from the command prompt, it's going to kind of overflow like that. All right. So I'm doing this first line here. Okay. So I'm in the command prompt. I hit enter and enter key store password. I'm just going to enter password. And again, you'd never want to do that in real life, but I'm just trying to make an example. Okay, um, what is your first and last name? I can't spell my name. <clears throat> Charles, Germany, whatever. Um, organizational unit. Um, okay. Go through here. Um, Do this. Okay, and you can enter a separate password uh, if you need to, but I'm going to hit enter. The you know, same as the key store password. Okay, so that's that's this. All of that was this first line here that you see, and I'll try to do this at 720p so you guys can hopefully see the text. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I have to generate the certificate and export it. All right, and that's what I'm going to do. Let me bring up the command prompt again. I'm just going to clear the screen. And again, you know, look at the HTML. Um, you know, the command prompt will show you how it works, but it might be hard to follow because of the way it wraps around. But if you look at the HTML here, you can see how the command should be. And in this case, I'm making Germany cert certificate, and I'm using the unsafe password of passwords. All right, sort of all Germany search to so that. Now I have something to sign with, okay? And that was these two command line tools. And then if I needed to compress something into a jar archive, I could use this. It works kind of like almost like you ever use the tar command in Linux um, or gzip and gunzip, gunzip, whatever. Sort of like that almost, all right? But that in this case, this would compress everything using the log card into the archive mutantwords.jar. But NetBeans has already done that for me, so I can skip that. The next thing I need to do is, is come down here, and I need to use the jar signer tool. 
And here's the key that I created up here, right? Remember, Germany cert.crt, and I named it right here. Hang on, let me enable marking. This is where I named it, and you could call it banana.cert or whatever you wanted to call it. But because of that, that's what I have to use here. And so it's just a jar assigner. Now, this is different. The name of my file, the name of my file is pirate arena 2.0.jar. And that's what I've got to sign with my certificate. So it would be jar signer, right? And then the name of my file is Pirate Arena. Pirate Arena uh, 2.0. jar. And Germany key. Minus the cert or the CRT. And my all powerful, amazing password or password. All right, and now it's signed. Okay, so now I can upload it to the server. And when I do, I'm going to go ahead and close the command prompt. This is what lo it looks like when you load a signed applet. Let me close this web page and reopen it. Kind of reinitialize everything. And let me go here. And I'll show you. Here's Pirate Arena. And notice the website wants to open web content using this program on your folder. All right, blah, blah, blah. So I have the option. In this case, well, that was Internet Explorer, but let me get to the actual signing part here. Okay, here's the signing part. Um, warning, you know, in this case, then it's Pirate Arena, Publisher, and then no. It says this because I used my own certificate, which I generated with the Jar Signer tool and, you know, the key tool. Um, if I were a trusted party, like VeriSign or somebody out there with well-known certificates, then it would list my name there. And you'd know that you could trust me. But I'm just Joe Blow. I'm, I'm nobody. And because of that, it says I'm no. And again, that's by design. But, you know, again, there's no malicious code here. It's just a, a very, uh, you know, simple uh, game here or, you know, game project tutorial. So I'm going to click run. But notice I had the option to opt out. I could have clicked cancel. But it's a sign. And then now that I do this, I can launch from the web page across the network. And believe it or not, I actually now have you know, permission to access the local file system. I can load and save files on the file system now.